Darn it. Where'd they go? They had to go this way. Keep your eyes open. I think they're gone. Whew. I think we managed to evade them. But there isn't any point in hiding here. We have to get over this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready, Cinequil. A Kangaskhan statue? I wonder if she would mind if we were using it right now. I can't think like that right now. I'm just glad that we have access to our items that we had to leave behind. Our journey is far from over, and we're going to need all the help we could get moving forward. Let's go. Cynical, are you ready? Yep. Which way should we go? Mudkip and I explored the rock path, and we discovered that it's just a complete circle that leads us back here. There's no real point in going there unless we want to do some level grinding, if the path ahead is too difficult for us. But for now, if we want to move forward, we'll have to scale Mount Blaze. Okay, let's go. It sounds very rough, but let's try our best. Our escape from the Pokemon that were chasing us brought us to a treacherous territory known as Mount Blaze. It was an active volcano, filled to the brim with fire-type Pokemon. Luckily, Mudkip and I were well equipped to make our way through this place. Some of the Pokemon that were chasing us may not be so fortunate. Due to being at a type disadvantage, Mudkip's water attacks made quick work of the plethora of fire, rock, and ground-type Pokemon we found in here. As for me, my ground-type dig move was all I needed. While scaling up Mount Blaze, I discovered just how powerful a fire-type Pokemon's body really is. Every floor had an endless flow of lava at every turn. Normally that would be a dead end, but I was able to walk right on top of it. It didn't hurt one bit. This could come in pretty handy if we were ever in need of a quick escape from one floor to the next. However, Mudkip is not so fortunate as to be lava-proof, so if I were to ever take a shortcut through a pool of lava, I would end up leaving Mudkip behind. And while I'm sure that they can more than take care of themselves in this area, it was of the utmost importance that we stick together at a time like this. Still though, walking on lava was just super cool. It more than made up for the fact that I wasn't able to swim. That's where Mudkip had me beat. They could take plenty of shortcuts through all the large pools of water that appeared in the dungeons. Of course, I was never able to go with them, so we rarely ever used this tactic. But still, it just goes to show that we're all capable of different things. We all have our own unique strengths and weaknesses. And not one Pokemon can do it all on their own. Unless of course you're a flying type Pokemon, or a Pokemon with the ability Levitate, then you could just fly over all the water and lava. But seriously, we really lucked out to have been well equipped for this dungeon. If I had been brought into this world as a grass type Pokemon, we may not be so fortunate. And who knows what lies beyond this area. Our search for the truth is far from over. So it's best to make the most of this opportunity and just keep moving forward. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Ugh, it's like a furnace! I'm getting roasted! I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. Halt! Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to writhe in agony. Is it you? 
Huh? You've got it wrong. It's not us. We just happen to be passing through here. Who are you anyway? Show yourself. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, the warrior of fire am I. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. On guard! Before we even had a chance to catch our breath at the top of the mountain, we were met face to face with Moltres, the legendary fire type Pokemon who guarded over Mount Blaze. This Pokemon was not going to be an easy opponent. Just like Zapdos, it was a fiercely strong Pokemon in every way imaginable. We were going to have to rely on our cunning if we wanted to beat it. Smokescreen and Graveler rocks were our best tactics, along with Mudkip's water gun. Unfortunately, because of its flying subtype, we weren't really able to take advantage of my dig move. So because of that, I mainly played on the defensive side by covering Moltres with a heavy smoke screen, while Mudkip fired away with its water gun. They were at a very low level of HP throughout the majority of the battle, but because of that, we were able to take advantage of Mudkip's special ability, Torrent, an ability that increases their attack whenever they're in critical condition, and we needed every bit of strength that we had available to us at this point in time. Moltres seemed to have an even shorter temper than Zapdos, I didn't even think that was possible. We just showed up here, and just like that, they thought we were the ones responsible for the natural disasters happening around here. I could see why they might have been concerned seeing a Water-type Pokémon in this fire dungeon, but it can't be just because of Mudkip that all of this is happening. We had to make that clear to Moltres. We weren't of any threat to them or this place. In fact, we were the exact opposite. We were on a quest to find the truth. And there is nothing that will stop us from claiming that. Uh, I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen! We're not here to cause trouble. We're here only because we were chased here. You have to realize this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are occurring all over the place. We're fugitives now, so we can't do anything. But we want to help other Pokemon that are suffering from these natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes. Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Whew, that was scary. Felt like my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze. And promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... Wow! We will! We'll get on it! We're being hunted, so we can't get to it right away. But we're a rescue team. We'll investigate what's behind the natural calamities. I promise. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise. If you do not forget, the courage you showed in facing me. Wah! Sir, is there anything else? No. I was only preparing to take off. Oh. Does he need to do that? Farewell. Phew. Ew, That was scary. But I'm glad Moltres understood us. That was key. Anyway, let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. Oh, oh, 
We sure walked a lot. I bushed. Let's rest up. Mm, the view's fantastic. Oh, look! Cinequil, look over there! See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've really come a long way, haven't we? Cinequil? Do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? I don't think too many Pokemon could get through there. And then we gave it our all to get out here. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've come so far, maybe there aren't any more Pokemon that can get to us. I wouldn't be so sure, Mudkip. There could still be others out there. Oh? There's still one else? Well, who do you mean? Hmm. Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get here. Yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Cinequil? Hmm? Huh? Am I tired? They're chasing us down. We can't afford to rest. And I told you already. I said I would go with you, Cinequil. Oh, come on. No need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Cinequil. I'll go wherever you go.